Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your October messages. So I've already made your spread out here so that we can save some time. So if you're new, new here, thank you for being here. Welcome, please share and subscribe. And um, okay, let's begin. So I feel like this month of October, you are going to be doing a lot of healing work, not only for yourself, but for others. I feel like this month, everything that you've been through, all the emotional withdrawals, all the emo emotional things and conflict within yourself that you've had a battle and fight, you are going to be helping and aiding others along their along their journey and their battles that they're fighting too because you know what it's like you've been there you've done that and it's kind of like you are healing them at the same time that you've heal healed yourself we have the strength and the temperance card that came out for you so this is really representing um all the healing things that you had to go through that you had to endure with the strength card spirit knew that you had to go through this through this in order for you to become a stronger better person and with that, you you became someone very, very gifted, healing. You bring joy and love and healing to others and hope because of everything that you've been through. All the, the, the drama, all the, um, the ups and the downs, all the anxiety, all the depression, everything that you went through, you are helping others with their journey. So um, we do have the art card here. So this is kind of like... A, creating um, and working things putting things together to heal and to make things happen for yourself finding your escapism to to help you out mentally as well we do have the five of swords here and this is like overcoming your mental battles overcoming anything that has been you know dark within you or any negative thought we do have the five of cups so this is kind of like there's times where you felt like you were mourning things that you didn't even lost or things that you thought you have lost but things that didn't really matter and you're overcoming that you're you're getting over the fact that those things don't matter whatever if they're people that were draining you of your energy i feel like there were vampire emotional vampire suckers that were with their constant negativity they were draining you and you were picking up on their energy and everything that we're going through and that was draining you that was giving you anxiety because you're someone very psychic you're someone very intuitive uh, we do have the uh, Queen of Wands with the Queen of Swords so with these two combinations I feel like you are going to be coming forward to communicate your passions your desires what makes you happy and you're not gonna care what people think or say because you've come to a point in your life where you're just like I need to do what's best for me I need to do what makes me happy what gives me healing and solace and that's exactly what you're going to be doing uh, we do have the seven of bats reversed along with the devil reversed. This is telling me that you see through people's drama, their deceit, their their any negative influences, you see right through it. If they try to get away with lying or sneaky behavior, you stop it. You try to speak to them in a way where you're like, I know that you're lying, but it's okay if you tell me the truth. I'm that person that you can tell. And with the Nine of Cups here, this is something that people love about you, that they can tell you things and you're not going to judge them. Um, and you've had to overcome that, having to constantly judge people or their lives. And now that you're getting out of that, you're out of that, you're able to aid people. So I feel like that's your passion, helping others as well. Um, we do have the Eight of Pentacles reverse. So if you haven't been working hard enough on achieving that, I feel like this month is going to be the month for you to really step up your game and step up your, who you really are and what you everything that you've learned throughout the years and uh, really start accomplishing everything that you truly desire and what makes you happy. So we do have the Ten of Ghosts, which is the Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Imps, which is the Nine of Wands. So you're constantly defending and protecting what makes you happy, okay? Whether this is friends, family, your passions, anything. You're going to be, it's kind of like feeling overprotective of who you love only because you know how the outside world is and whatever you do, it's kind of like you always find yourself getting a little bit too stressed out because you're overprotective and you're trying not to get so stressed out about what other people go through and their problems. You don't, you want to like uh, detach their energy with yours. That's why it's important for you to find some kind of protective, you know, ritual where you're cleansing yourself you're saging yourself you meditate 
you practice self-love and everything. You know all that. I, I feel like you've been doing that, so that's what's helping you help others. Um, the Oracle card that I did pull that came out for you is the Vampire. Okay, and this is Emotional Intelligence. Ah, so let me read that. I already had it right here prepared. I'm going to read the bottom. It says, should the vampire card appear in your reading, it may indicate that you are being drained in this way and the time has come for stronger boundaries. All, like I said, you're going to feel other people's energies and they suck you of it. Make sure you hold, you set your boundaries, okay? Cleanse yourself too. We need to be very aware of what gives us energy in our lives and what takes it away. We should be aware of needing people to need us and why we invite people like this into our homes, workplaces, and lives. If indeed we have them around us, developing the emotional intelligence within ourselves helps us defend against this kind of emotional and psychic attacks and enables us to foster healthy and equal relationships of all kinds. That's when the temperance card comes in, right? So you see, with this card, this is, I'm telling you, protecting yourself from other people's energy so that it doesn't interfere with yours. Okay, so this month is going to be not only you taking on everything that you've learned, but also helping others and their, whatever they're going through, but at the same time protecting yourself. Okay, all right, Pisces, this was your message for October. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in your next video. Bye.